Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, and welcome back to another OP8 Raid Guide. And today we're going to take on Pyro Pete. Now, I just want to say sorry for the delay. My computer broke down uh, last week, and uh, work's been kind of crazy. Uh, a lot of hours and stuff, so I had to work those. And yeah, so we're back, and we're going to take on Pete. Now, for the gear, first off, we have the Trespasser. That's going to remove his face helmet. And we're going to go ahead and use a little trick here, which I'm going to show you in a bit. And uh, it will make it so you can do more damage to Pete because you can hit his crit, uh, critical hit spot. When I say crit, people say I say something else. And I just want to go ahead and mention that I say crit, C-R-I-T, critical, short for critical. Yes. All right, moving on here, uh, the Sandhawk, that's our main damaging weapon. And some people might complain because, you know, Sandhawk, Beehawk, Maya, it's pretty common. Everybody uses it and it's just kind of boring. But the thing is, it's the best damage uh, Maya can do. And the second best uh, SMG is the Tattler, and even then, that doesn't do enough damage on Pete for a fast fight. And we want something that's quick, easy, and uh, re-farmable, so that's why we're using the Sandhawk. And of course the Bee, and it's Acoline, so you can dodge his first Nova, which is nice. Legendary Cat for the uh, SMG damage and a lot of good skills. It's pretty much the best class mod, because you can get so many uh, uh, damage boost off of it. Uh, the Bone of the Ancients for shock damage. Uh, Stormfront for killing these spider ants um, for activating inertia, which will give you shield regen and also reload speed, but we'll get to the skill tree in a minute. And uh, also you can use it with uh, combination with the Grog uh, to grab health back. But the Grog is actually optional in this build because I'm not actually going to be using it. Uh, because it's pretty easy to dodge his attacks, so it's kind of just optional if you want to use it. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get on with the skill tree. Alright, so here's the skill tree. Uh, it's the exact same as the Hyperius build I did, and uh, yeah, nothing has changed. Uh, so the big skills here is Inertia, so when you kill these spider ants with a, uh, a storm front, you're going to get extra reload speed and shield regen. Uh, this is for cooldown, uh, shield recharge delay, uh, more damage, crit damage, and uh, we'll get to those skills in a second. Uh, magazine size, reload speed, uh, a lot of extra damage that's really uh, needed for this build. Uh, ruin for the insta slag on uh, the face locks on Pete. And then I had 10 points left over, so I put them right here. Uh, wreck is pointless because you're never going to get it. Uh, because you're not going to be face locking the spider ants, so you're never going to get the fire rate or gun damage bonus. Uh, but I had 5 points to put in the recompense after that because I had to move down to skill tree. And uh, that kind of helps a little bit, so that's why I spec'd into that. Otherwise, it's everything else is kind of optional. You don't really need any of this stuff. Um, it's not going to help you in terms of uh, uh, getting a faster fight. And yeah, that's the skill tree, so let's go ahead and get on with the fight. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on with the fight here. Obviously no badass rank. So first off, what you want to do is have your Sandhawk and your Trespasser equipped. And your Bee and your Cat and your Bone at the Entrance and Stormfront. And like I said before, the Grog is optional, but I won't be using it in this fight. But if you feel like you need some health and stuff because you get hit, then uh, that's good to use. So yeah, let's go ahead and start the fight here, and first off we're going to phase lock him, so grab that, and shoot one shot at his face, and while that bullet's in the air, switch over to the Trespasser, and that will take off his helmet. Because you're holding the Trespasser in your hand, it will cause the effect of the Trespasser to apply to the Sandhawk's shots, and uh, that's very important. And then from here, it's pretty straightforward, it's not very difficult, just aim towards the head as long as you can and keep him slagged and avoid breaking your B. So we'll just keep working on the head here. Make sure to keep your distance. Alright, and the shield's about to break. If you have time, you can always move behind one of these uh, barriers to block it. So I'll go ahead and just do it once here, just to show that it works. Alright, there we go. We didn't take the damage over time. Oh, I got hit there, not a big deal. For our shield to come back up. There we go. Uh, he's getting kind of close. Uh, what you can do is keep jumping, and that will break his AI, as you can see here. And he can get more distance, which is kind of nice. Alright. Oh, my aim is horrendous. Alright, he's about to do another Nova here. And at this time, I'll go ahead and just take the damage just to show you what to do uh, when you get hit by it. So wash it off and throw a storm from right at the ground here, and all the spider ants should die. And uh, give you inertia, which is going to give you a lot of extra reload speed and uh, stuff like that, which is nice. 
And also, I think it regens your shield a little bit too, so that's always good. Alright, and we'll just keep jumping here. I usually jump once every time I uh, do some shots at him, just to make sure I can get some distance. So jump, reload, shoot at him, make sure he's slagged. Don't get hit by those. Alright. And I know it's Nova's coming up here, so I should... Oh, I'm not going to make it, am I? Ah, I missed it. Not a big deal, so we'll just go ahead and go back to the spider ants. There we go. Wash it off. And throw a couple storm fronts at the ground. And now, each time you use the pipe over there, I would recommend just throwing an extra storm front each time. Uh, because those guys do level up, and uh, eventually they will be very difficult to kill, so... Uh, make sure you're not using the pipe too much. Alright. Dodge those. And we pretty much have them. So, at best, uh, this fight is going to take about, um, I would say, a minute and a half. Um, it is possible. But, at like a normal pace, it would probably take about, you know, two minutes or so. Which isn't bad. Um, considering Maya has, you know, optional, or not optional, uh, minimal uses for gear um, that do a lot of damage. Ah, uh, so there we go. That is the kill. Did we get anything? Uh, where's our serve? Did we get one? Yeah, we did. The O negative. Nice. Not bad. And, uh, yeah, so if you want to download the save for yourself, it will be down in the description NPC format. And if you want to use it on Xbox 360 or PS3, uh, you will have to convert the save. It's not too hard to do. I will link a tutorial down there, too. And uh, if you want to use it on PS4 or Xbox One, uh, you will have to convert the save uh, with your PS3 or Xbox 360. And I will link a tutorial down there too for you guys. And uh, yeah, so go ahead and try it out for yourself. Uh, get some fast peak kills with Maya, and that should be it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be epic. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.